According to the American Psychological Association, more than three out of four Americans are so stressed out, it's actually hurting them physically. It manifests itself in ways like sleepless nights, upset stomachs, headaches, and heart disease. But here's the good news. According to best-selling author Max Licato, you can get through it. Sometimes life's challenges threaten to overwhelm us, and we wonder how we'll make it through. But leading inspirational author and pastor Max Lucado says there is hope. His latest book, You'll Get Through This, will give you practical advice to help you through difficult times. Well, Max is with us now, and we welcome you back to the 700 Club. It's always so much fun to read your books because you share so many stories of people that you just get swept up in their circum circumstances, and then you hit us with the one-two punch <laughs> of what you're trying to teach. The, the subject being, no matter how difficult things are, no matter what you're struggling with or how things might look, you can get through it. Why is that so important for us to have well, hit home? Uh, Thank you again for having me on, mm -hmm. by the way. Despair is our enemy. Yeah. We've got to fight despair. We've got to defy despair. It's when we think we won't get through it that despair kicks in. Mm -hmm. Despair is when we say, there is no end to my struggle and there is no solution for my struggle. Um, it's kind I, of like I, the wind goes out of our sails exactly, when we do that. Exactly, the oxygen goes out of the yeah. room, the darkness just comes in. And, and, and not only does, is that a difficult time, it's a dangerous time. It, it, it places us in a posture, Terry, where we make poor decisions. Yes. We're hard to live with. We're toxic. Mm -hmm. We turn into people who... Desperate decisions, yeah, yeah, really. We, we, yeah, we, we, we uh, hurt, make the situation worse instead yeah. of better. Now, there are people who are watching right now, I'm sure, Max, who are in exactly the kind of situation There's you're no talking way. about. And, and it may sound simple to say you'll get through this, but in fact, that's exactly the message you need. And you're not saying that it's going to be simple. I mean, you talk about the fact that it's not going to pay, be painless and it's not going to be quick. That's exactly the point. The, the, the biblical promise seems to me is God does get us through things. Yeah. Not always as quickly as we want <laughs> and certainly with no pain. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but he does get us through things, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. I mean, the word through is everywhere in the Bible. Yes. It gets us through the valley of the shadow of, the, of death. It gets us yeah. through the storm, through the flood. Through is one of God's favorite words. It's, it's a message of deliverance, and I hadn't thought about that until you said that in the book, that mm. the whole Bible is about deliverance, you know? Blood stains, tear stains everywhere. However, God gets his people through things, through the Red Sea, yes. you know, through the t tough time, through the Jordan River. He's always walking us through. And from a big picture point of view, he's just getting us through this life, yeah. preparing us for our eternal destiny. And I'm glad you mentioned preparing because I, I want you to talk a little bit about Joseph. I, I don't know what's going on right now. Everywhere I turn in every devotional and then I open your book and it's the story of Joseph. And I'm like, okay, God, I get it. But he was no stranger to tough times. And, and while he was in desperate situations like we're talking about, it, you, you say in the book that the devil had Joseph where he wanted him, so did God. Mm. Talk about that. Genesis 50:20 is where Joseph, now as prime minister, turns to the yeah. brothers who sold him into slavery some 40 years after they abandoned him. And he said, you meant evil against me, yeah. but God meant it for good. He understood that God was up to something great mm -hmm. and that the very evil that was intended to destroy Joseph actually helped Joseph yeah. not only survive, but thrive yeah. in a distant land. And part of what made that so successful for him was exactly what you were talking about a moment ago. Despite all the negative things that happened to him, he never gave up on the dream God had given him. Never gave up. That's unbelievable. <clears throat> and you think about it, that's the only thing he had. Yeah. When he was sold into slavery as a 17-year-old boy, I mean, he didn't even have the coat on his back anymore. Yes. All he had were those dreams. So he held on to those dreams. He mm -hmm. believed that God had a destiny for him, and he refused to let him go. Yeah. You have a, a chapter in the book called Stupid Won't Fix Stupid. Talk about that. That's an expression in Texas. I don't know if it's worldwide or not. <laughs> it's about to be. I but as a pastor, I've used it more than I'd like to admit. You know, we get into these tough situations, and, and, and instead of 
taking a, a healthy response to a difficult circumstance, our tendency is to take a short-term response. Yeah. Uh, stupid doesn't fix stupid. That means more debt doesn't fix debt. Mm -hmm. More adultery doesn't fix a bad marriage. Yeah. More anger doesn't fix a bad relationship. Joseph, he, he's, he's the perfect example of this because you remember he sold into slavery. Yes. Potiphar's wife puts the move on him. He could have excused the affair by saying, you know, I've been through so much already. Mm -hmm. It doesn't hurt to have one thing work. Yeah. But he didn't. He stood strong. Of course, then he ended up in prison, but it was from the prison that he became the yeah. prime minister. But he didn't let a difficult situation become an excuse to make a bad choice. You know, you say also do what pleases God. You know, there's so much coming at us in the world today, whether it's you know, something that's morally, sexually wrong or, you know, business deals, under the table deals, the way we treat each other, attitude about things. But it really is very simple for the Christian, isn't it? It is. It is. It's not that complicated. We don't know the long term solution that God will use, but we do know our next responsibility. Yeah. And that is do what pleases God. Mm -hmm. Joseph was famous for pleasing God. He just pleased God. There's a passage in the book of Psalms that says, do what is right as an offering to the Lord. Yeah. So are you torn between this way or that way, turning right or turning left? Just do the next right thing. What would please God? And if I do that every time, then I'm cooperating with God yes. as he gets me through the tough time. Yeah. And, you know, that's really the answer is God's going to get us through the tough time. He's proven that. It's what his character is, but we have to help. We have to partner have to with him. Exactly. We partner with him. And let's not forget that part of our tough time is for us yes. to develop us. We're always yeah. saying, God, change my circumstances <laughs> when God may be using the circumstances to change us, yeah. to train us, to develop us. I think you can make a good case that by the time Joseph became prime minister, yeah. he was trained. He had gone yeah. through the necessary boot camp experiences of being a slave, then a prisoner, of being rejected, and then landing on his feet. He was ready for the assignment. Yeah. It's such a good book, and who doesn't need to hear the fact that you're going to get through this no matter what you're going through. Hope and help for your turbulent times. Do what pleases God. This is available in bookstores around the country, and just like all the rest of Max's books, it's awesome. You want to get a hold of it. If you'd like to see more with Max, go to CBN.com. He's going to be the featured speaker at our chapel service this afternoon. You can watch that live online at noon Eastern time, and we have a web-exclusive interview with him as well. So visit the website. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Terry. Pat? Well, Max is a great...